All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up conversion tracking in Google Analytics 4 using Google Tag Manager on your WooCommerce website. So the first thing you're going to need to have done here is created a Google Analytics 4 account and a Google Tag Manager account. If you have not done that already, go watch this video. I'm going to put a link above. You need to go and do that first. You need to put the Google Tag Manager code in your header and footer of your uh, WordPress website. And then you need to connect that to the Google Analytics 4 with the correct tag. Once that is done, then we can actually start implementing the rest. So what I'm just going to do here is that I'm just going to put my new Google Tag Manager header and footer code. This is what you would need to do in your header and in your footer of your WordPress site. Like I said, I show you how to do that in that other video. So go watch that. And now once that's done, we're good to go and we can install the rest. So now you've got Google Tag Manager. If you followed the other video installed and set up, now we can start setting everything up for WooCommerce. So the first thing that you actually want to do is go into your plugins and download this plugin here, GTM for WP. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go into this site. This one is a test version of the site just to show you this whole process. We'll go and install that plugin. Now, if you have not yet installed Google Tag Manager on the site, you can do it through this plugin as well. So theoretically, we could do that also. I'm just going to paste the name of the plugin here and we want to install this one and then you want to hit activate. So now what's going to happen is it's going to install this plugin and this is going to allow us to do a couple things. So I'll show you what we need to do here. Firstly, you want to go into the plugin. So go into the plugin settings, find that plugin. And so we need to enable a couple of things. The first thing that you need to do is you need to put your Google Tag Manager ID in here. So that's this ID up here. You want to copy that and you want to paste that in here. Now, if you have already done the Google Tag Manager Google Analytics installation with the code, then you want to hit off on this one. If you have not, then you could hit on and in theory, it should put the code in for you and then you won't have to do the code manually. I've already done it, so I'm going to click off. Now, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to add manually coded. I'm going to actually turn off because I've already done this. These can all stay. Typically speaking, these can all stay and you can hit save changes. All right. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to go to integration. Now, this might be in a separate tab like it shows here. And if it is, you want to hit integration and WooCommerce. If on your side, like on this one is just the endless scrolling one on one single page like this, scroll down to integration. And what you want to do is one, you want to hit track e-commerce. You want to tick that box. And two more boxes you want to click are exclude tax from revenue and exclude shipping from revenue. And the reason why is because these two get reported as separate amounts anyway. So you don't want to include them in your revenue. So you actually get accurate data. So then what you want to do is hit save on that one. And now we have the settings of this plugin now set. So now the next thing you need to do is go to this website here. And I'm going to put a link to this in the description below. And you need to go here and download the GA4 container template. So you would just click this and it's going to download a J on file, right? So what you do hit right click, save link as, and then what you want to do is just save this somewhere where you can get it. And you're going to need to upload this file to your Google tag manager. So now we'll go back to the Google tag manager. And what you want to do is go to admin and you want to go import container. And now we're going to go choose container file. And I'm going to select that file I just loaded and we'll hit open. And now you want to hit existing, select the default workspace and now press merge here. And then you can now hit confirm. And now it's going to import a preset one here, as you can see with all these variables relating to e -com. So what it's going to do is it's going to track everything like add to carts, what items they're looking at, transaction IDs, the amounts of the purchase are going to get passed through, etc. So you're going to get have all this information in here. So now once this is in here, we can go to tags and there's two things we need to do. So first I need to set my GA4 tag in here, which I haven't done yet. So I'm going to add that. I'm going to do this. This is already part of the setup tutorial if you've watched the other video. If not, then you just need to go through this process setting up GA4. You get this tag. You want to take that and you want to go Google tag. And I'm just going to put that here, set it to all page views and hit save. Again, this is all covered in that other video of setting this all up. If you go watch that now for the purpose of this video, what you need to do is hit on this GA4 event e-commerce events that's come with that imported container. And what we need to do is paste the ID from the GA4 uh, that we just took and put it here. This is the same one that's in this tag here that you you would have created to connect the GA4 to the Google Tag Manager. So you want to take that tag ID and paste it in here in the measurement ID. Leave everything else as it is. And so now you just want to hit submit, publish. And then what's going to happen now is basically everything is going to track on the 
e-commerce side. So now we can actually test this. So we'll go back to the workspace and we'll go preview and we'll open our website. So what I'm gonna do is copy the URL and we'll go to the actual website. And you wanna hit connect. And now it's gonna test our site. So what we wanna do, I'm just gonna quickly go into my products. I'm just gonna set my settings to debug just so that we can test this thing without having to pay anything. Okay, and now I've set everything up and what I've done is I've just connected the tag assistant to my website. So when you hit preview and you can enter your website, you can see here it connected the tag assistant. So now we can actually test these things and see in if it's passing to analytics as well. So what I'm also going to do is go back to the analytics and I'm gonna go into admin and go to data display debug. And now we can actually see if the events are passing through. So you can see here, we're already getting view item list because I've already opened the page that has these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the test product. You see it's already starting to fire and we can see here view item, view item list. So we viewed the item that was us opening the actual item itself, you can see here. And so now I'm gonna to add to cart and what we should see is add to cart pop up here as well. Add to cart has fired and it has sent it over. Let's see the debug view and analytics. Add to cart, you can see that is added as well. So now that event is passing to analytics as well. So now what we'll do is we'll go to, whoops, we'll go view cart and now that will pop up as an event. Okay, so that should show up here now. View cart and it has. And so that should show up in analytics now. And you can see there view cart. So now what we'll do is we'll go to the checkout. It should show checkout, which it has. Begin checkout, we should see begin checkout here. So you just wanna test these and make sure that each one of these events are working, but they should. Okay, begin checkout has passed. So we can just put test, I'm just gonna use these tests test all this test details just to complete the test purchase we can copy this test credit card and what will happen is it will show a test purchase we'll place the order and now we should see here order completed add a payment info okay we should see one here there's something to do with purchase purchase hit is sent and we can have a look here it should now show up as a conversion as purchase and you can see here so that's it now you can see that we are tracking all of this data in ga4 and in google tag manager and if you actually click on this which i just clicked on the purchase what you can see is you can actually see the tax the shipping the page title what the value is which is the one dollar that the product is the id you can see all this the information about the product you can see here the items as well what item what category how many quantity etc and what the price is so it gives you all this data in google analytics as well if you need to see all this so that's it that's the entire process once that's done you can actually just close this you can close this and now you have all the events in your Google Tag Manager and in GA4. So that's how you set up conversion tracking for WooCommerce in Google Analytics 4 with Google Tag Manager. If you have any questions about any of this, put them in the comments below and I will answer them. Otherwise, if you'd like me to coach you on how to do SEO and Google Ads for only $49 a month, go to learndominatemarketing.com. And if you'd like us to do the SEO and Google Ads for your WooCommerce store and get your results, go to dominatemarketing.io and book a call with us there. Catch you on the next one.